So we're in the field of ultra-fast charging for electric vehicles. Um, ultra-fast charging means if you have a car, electric car, you charge it in 10 to 20 minutes to get a reasonable amount of mileage. We utilize our own energy source systems, a flywheel within the charging stations, which enables us to provide this high power for fast charging in the low-voltage grid, so we get over the part of grid upgrades with our technology. We are in a Series A now, raising 5 million euro. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm talking to you. So the EV market, I mean, we all know what's going on there. We need to reduce our CO2 emissions. Uh, we won't have combustion engines uh, in cars from 2035 on. Uh, and we won't have, oh, 2035 will also already have 50% of emission-free trucks on the roads in Germany. We've seen a 4,000% growth of electric vehicles from 2016 to 2022. And so the question is, what happens in this market? In Europe, we'll have about around 4 million charging stations to, until 2030. And the question then is, where do we install these? So we want to have a good business case for this infrastructure investment in a, in a charging station. And um, when you look at data from trip data, you see that 30% of all trips are about going shopping, errands, or picking up people or dropping them off. So there's high-frequent uh, parking lots um, somewhere where people go, like shopping centers, for example. You go to the supermarket, you shop your groceries for 15 minutes while you charge your car. So you implement charging into your daily life. We believe that charging will be omnipresent. Like, you won't worry about going to a charger. You just go shopping, as I said, or to the fitness, to the gym, wherever, and you'll plug in your car. It will be more convenient than refueling a normal car, a combustion engine car. And we need high power there to get the certain amount of energy we want to have it really fast charged at this highly frequently, frequented parking lot. So when we look at charging technology, we have the normal AC chargers. In some German cities, they pop up like everywhere, so they're kind of omnipresent. But it takes you a couple hours to recharge your vehicle, and then you'll need to repark it. So it's not really convenient there. We have fast charging, DC fast charging, with above 50 kilowatts. This is coming up, but this is also... It's going to be kind of omnipresent. Uh, it's kind of convenient. You need to park there for about one hour to get your car vehicle charged. But the power is, from our perspective, too little for these highly frequented parking lots. And then we have the ultra-fast charging that's currently rolled out along all the motorways. Um, this is quite this is super powerful, um, but it takes very long to build these charging stations because you need to rebuild the grid, having a grid upgrade, medium voltage grid there making it slow. So obviously, our product solves these three steps, making it omnipresent, convenient, with the high power you need. This is how we do it. Um, the energy storage system is a fourth generation flywheel that we've developed. Um, it goes back to a patent NASA did in the 1970s. We are still the only company on the globe providing a flywheel based on that design principle. It's a very sustainable energy storage system. and got a lifetime of 25 years, 1 million charge cycles. You save around 1,250 tons of CO2 within these 25 years. It's a lithium-free energy storage system, so we are not competing with car manufacturers for lithium. Um, we have established supply chains. Uh, you can manufacture it at just standard industrial uh, industry companies, so we do not need to build gigafactories. It's already there, and for sure it's patent protected because this is our IP. The market is huge. It's about 40, 45 billion euro until 2030. We think that 6.6 .6 billion of this is going to be for buffered energy source systems like ours, and we are aiming at a 9% market share. We're growing our team. We're 
an engineering company. We have been. So now we're focusing on the commercial side. We hired Ralf and Adrian just a couple of weeks ago, which have a good focus and, mar and business experience in this field. And we're in our Series A. So we're raising money, five million, to expand our sales team, to increase our production numbers, and to grow our company to follow these amounts. Raising five million uh, with 2.5 million already committed by our existing shareholders. Thanks a lot. <laughs>